What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be trying to solve a problem with the CF Moto Airbox. Um, so I'll uh, roll that intro and then I'll show you what we're going to uh, going to be doing. So to get to the airbox, I think we've gone over this process before. You want to get your key and take your pillion seat off. Put that to the side. Once under here, you want to grab your uh, five mil Allen key. And you want to undo these bolts here. Just go on there. So you want to get these two uh, two bolts here that hold the rear seat off. Yeah. And then you just want to uh, undo the uh, heated seat here. This little, uh, this little clip here. Lift this tab up here and then uh, slide it out. So just like that. Uh, just lift the seat back and up. And then we'll reveal the airbox just under here. So this is where we reveal the airbox. Um, so these bolts here are actually uh, these T25 bits. So that's just a star bit, which is, uh, you've got what, six of these bolts that hold the airbox lid down. So I'm just gonna uh, get in here and take these off. All right, once we've got all these off, just wanna take these screws out. And then the lid just pops off like that. So there's your, uh, your airbox lid there, which creates a seal around uh, this lip here. And then you uh, slip your air filter out. So like, you know, like I've said in my previous videos, I've got the DNA filter and uh, freshly cleaned with new oil in it. So that's that. I'll put this to the side. All right, so I've just moved the camera so we can see. Um, but the issue I have for the airbox here is these screws here, uh, which are metal, just screw into the plastic. And after taking the airbox uh, lid on and off a few times, and you can actually over tighten these, which strip the plastic out of here. And then it stops this from getting a good grip down on top of the lid, which in, uh, in turn, may introduce dust in the future so uh, i need to figure out how we can uh, get a better seal on these uh, better screws to create a better seal on the uh, airbox so i'll uh, i'll show you what i've got in mind all right so i'll show you what i've got so these this is what i've got here these are actually uh, threaded heat inserts so what they do, if it focuses, it's not gonna focus, let me uh, zoom me out a bit. All right, so what they are is a little uh, insert, which you actually melt into the plastic. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to drill out a hole from there, just big enough to fit these in, and then, uh, Try not to drop it into the airbox. So drill out a hole into these uh, into this plastic, and then use a soldering iron to melt it down into there. So I'll uh, get some tools ready, and we'll uh, see what we can do. All right. So this is the uh, screw that I'm going to use before I drop it in there. It's just a uh, Phillips head screw with actual just normal thread. And I need to drill this out to the length. So underneath here, it has plenty of, about an inch underneath here, which I only need about a couple of centimetres. So wish me luck. So. 
So I've just drilled that hole out, um, and then we come in here. And that so this there's a little little bit here, which is a bit smaller than the actual heat thing, and that just sits in there. So now we need to melt that down into the plastic, and I'll um, I'll show you how we do that. So what we need is a soldering iron. All right, so I've just readjusted the camera so you can see what we're doing. So what we do is we just pop that just in the top there like that. It should just sit there. Um, I've got a soldering iron, which I've actually cut the tip off. And um, just to make it a bit more uh, square to fit in there. And I've preheated to 300 degrees. So we should be able to pop that in there. And then we just wait. For the heat and there we go it slowly melts in to it i want to get that flush so now that is sitting flush down inside there just move some of that plastic so that's our first one done and dusted so now instead of uh it chewing out the plastic every time you uh screw it in and out you should be able to just uh, screw the screw straight into that and let's hope it lines up so before I go and do all the rest of them because this one was already stripped out so before I do all the rest of them I'm um, going to give it a test run and see how it goes so as you can see this is the screw that I'm using no issues screwing uh, down in there Got to make sure it goes all the way in without hitting anything. And yep, definitely pulls past this lip here. So, unscrew it again. So, that's one done. I did have to uh, just move it a little bit because it wasn't 100% straight, but that's still in there nice and solid. So, that won't go anywhere. All right, onto the second one now. Try to keep those plastic bits out of the airbox. I'll go through and give it a good clean up anyway once we're done. Just move the camera so you can see what we're doing. Alright, so I'll just move the camera so and see what we're doing. So I just uh, did the same thing here again. I um, drilled the hole out there. And then we'll grab our pin or our nut set and sit that on top. It's not going to work, so what I had to do is just trim a little bit down here. Alright. Just use that deburring tool just to uh, get a bit of the, the meat out of the top there. And do the same thing again with this one. So, chuck that on there, just wait for it to melt down. Here it goes, nice and slow. And voila, should be about right. All right, what I'll do is I'll wait for that to cool down and then I'll cut the, uh, I'll trim the excess off from around the uh, outside there. Like that. All right, so that's number two done. Now let's test fit it. I'm gonna test fit it every step of the way to make sure we are going all right. Test number two, look at that. Perfect. Now, let's uh, roll on to the rest of them. So, I've showed you how to do a couple of them. I'm not gonna film every single one of them. Um, so what I'll do is I'll get the, uh, the other five done and we'll have a look at it at the end.
All right, so that's all them done now. So all of them are done. I've trimmed the excess plastic off it. I've uh, gone through the air box, made sure there was no uh, plastic bits lying around in there. And I'm just gonna give it a final wipe over with a microfiber cloth. And then uh, put the lid back on. Um, also while I'm here, it's really hard to see, but I had these intake pipes. I actually took them out. So to take them out, you squeeze them and you just pull and they come out. So I'll put a couple of photos up on screen now of what they look like, but these restrict your airflow to your airbox by a lot. Um, so I took them out when I first put the DNA filter in and uh, it was really good really snappy throttle, sounded really nice. And then the other week I put them back in um, and I cleaned the filter just to see what it, like, what it was like. And I found that it really restricted the bike again. It, um, and it quietened the bike down a lot um, as the intake noise. So I'm gonna leave these out um, before I put everything back together. So like I said, I'll put a couple of photos to show you what the holes look like and how open the airbox is now. Probably does let a little bit more dust in, um, probably a bit more risk of getting water and that in there, but it's fairly well sealed through this area um, from ingress of a lot of water and stuff. So not sure how much difference it's gonna make, but now I've fixed the airbox up. I'm uh, not worried about taking my air filter out regularly to clean it. So happy with how that's turned out. So let's put it all back together. So the air filter just slips back in there like that. Um, I did put this strip on there back when I first put it, um, put it all back together when I put the um, filter in because apparently it doesn't seal properly or it is a little bit loose in there and that's just what people have recommended. Don't know how much of a difference it makes, but meh, can't hurt. So here's the lid. I've uh, just chucked all the screws in because I've had it on and off a couple of times already. So. Just test fitting it all. I have to take these screws out to line it all up again. So like I said, I'll just change this because there's not going to be any risk of stripping the bolts anymore. So, all right. So instead of uh, the bolts threading into plastic, now they're threading into the metal, which I'm so much more happier about. And like I said. Because I've got the uh, DNA filter in there and uh, get it cleaned regularly, I'd rather have uh, access to it where I'm not worried about uh, stripping the bolts if I take them out on, uh, out too too many times. Um, so I'll just finish putting these uh, screws in here, and then we'll tighten it all down. and put the seat back on and we're ready to roll. Um, simple as that, so it probably only took me about half an hour or so to do, uh, with a little bit of filming of that, so all we need is a six and a half mil drill bit, the kit, which I'll link below, which I just got off Amazon, um, you only need six, six of these, so the kit's like 25 bucks, so 300 of them, but don't know if I'll ever need it again, but I've got it there if I do, so that's that. Um, Really happy with how that's sealing, how it's looked. I've already put it on a couple of times and checked it all out, but happy with that. So put it back together and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so as you see, it's all back together now. Just gonna chuck the uh, seat back on. Plug it all back in. Chuck the uh, little screws back in and we'll be done. I'll uh, get that on there properly, but yeah, that's uh, it's. Uh, I'm guessing that's how he fixed the uh, the airbox. So, like I said, it was just a uh, little issue that I uh, come across because I felt like if I regularly take the uh, 
air filter out, I'm going to end up stripping those um, those screws, and in the end, it's going to be useless. Um, so I thought, fix it, fix it properly, and then I can take it out every month and give it a clean whenever I need to. Depends how much off-road riding I do, but yeah, we'll. Uh, Happy with the way it turned out, I'll uh, get this bike back together and I'll see you in the next video.